James Mills, Shelley Moore. I knew some of the people on this list, and you do too. She's been gone for several months, uh, but I got really close with her, and it was really sad to hear that she had passed. In the shadows of some of Louisville's tallest buildings, a group of people stood in solidarity. You feel this small at a point in time in your life, and you know, people tell you, you know, you are, the, you are a good person, but you don't believe it. These are the faces of the city's homeless population. And every year, on the first day of winter, they gather on the steps of Metro Hall to remember the people less fortunate than them. It helps me to appreciate what I have now because if I was still out there, I would guarantee that I probably would be one of the people that is read on the paper. Gary Porter. Each name is a life lost. Nina Mosley with Wayside Christian Mission says those people didn't have a home, but they still mattered. They have families, they have loved ones, they have people who are worried to death about them. Many of the people at Thursday's ceremony have fought the fights that ultimately killed others. But through drug addiction and poor decisions, many have found a fresh start. I'm actually happy today. I'm actually happy. Their hope that Louisville will give them a second chance. You know, I'm so grateful that I'm still here and I still have a chance on Earth. Morgan Lentis, WLKY News.